Hello everybody and welcome back to Expand the Gungeon Fell to Arms. In the previous episode, you didn't see it because I deleted it. Um, I actually recorded a run um, a few days ago actually now and I was gonna go and upload it and it was just not a good episode. Like, commentary was fine, but the run, like, considering there's so many mods and everything, it was such a dull run. Like, nothing cool happened at all. So let's roll the bones, see what we get. T-shirt cannon. Uh, and the backpack. Wow, this is a, this is turning out to be a pretty vanilla start as well. Although I have to say I'm glad to have the backpack. There's a lot of active items here. So let's take a look at our stats real quick. We are starting with lower damage by a ridiculous margin. We are 19% down. Our boss damage is 14% up. Our speed is 8% down. Our roll time is up, our roll distance is down, our spread is better, our fire rate is better, our reload time is better, our clip size is down, our range is down. Honestly, this is a weird one. The damage is, is really bad, but we can have, there's plenty of items that can sort that out. I've decided, I've decided, I've decided, we're going on to my normal save file. I think, I think we've tested out this um, Eden randomizer enough to know it's safe and we're not going to die terribly to anything but yes let's hope this episode's a little more interesting i've updated a bunch of mods as well since i recorded the last episode you guys didn't see but i just kind of felt you guys just had it better than a really dull run like it was so dull that i didn't even go to the lich like i my, i think my most interesting gun that i had was the ak-47 and i was like is there really any point continuing this run? Then I finished the recording and I was like, ah, that was a bit shit. I don't know, it might be all right. <clears throat> but then I, I rewatched some of it this morning and I was like, nah. Nah. You guys deserve better. Ah. You guys deserve better. I don't, I don't want to be uploading runs that I'm not proud of. I honestly, it's surprising. During the lockdown, I feel like I have less time to record than I normally do. Um, but, so even even with my limited time, I, th I, I thought better to spend a little bit extra time, the extra hour, and record a new video. So you guys enjoy the video a bit more. Hopefully see a bit more modded stuff. I mean, if, if it happens again, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't have the time. But let's hope it doesn't. I really highly doubt it will. It was, very, it was just very odd. I got, like, I think maybe one modded item and all the rest of the vanilla items, and none of them were interesting. Like, I can't even remember what passives we had. I don't think we had anything cool. I think Herming Bullets might have been the most interesting passive we had, which is just a testament to how just ridiculously terrible the run was. It, I wouldn't say it was bad. It was like just a very average and normal run, which just doesn't happen in Gungeon anymore, especially modded. Like, average runs aren't a thing. I mean, we got to go to the jungle, which was nice, but apart from that, very strange. Uh, I'll have to check on the jungle. Apparently there's a little bit of it that's a bit balked and a little bit broken. Ooh, and there you go. That's starting us out nicely. And oh my god, we get the um, Old War Stealth Kit from Risk of Rain 2. Someone actually made a Risk of Rain 2 item pack. I think I may have mentioned this in the Unseen episode or the episode before that. I can't remember. But someone made um, a new Risk of Rain 2 item pack that is basically just the sprites ported from Risk of Rain, which I don't really care about. The sprites are still decent. Uh, and they look pretty cool. We got ourselves two junk. Um, so yeah, we're going to be seeing some Risk of Rain items. Old War Stealth Kit, for those of you that, that have not played um, Risk of Rain 2 at all. Basically, when you get hit, you go invisible for a certain amount of time. So technically, it's an ability to steal. We did just get hit terribly there. Uh, technically, that, that item would be an ability to steal, which is pretty nice, actually. So I might go with that. It it depends how it works. If I can if I can self-damage in order to activate the uh, invisibility, then it's a very good item. If you can only trigger it off of being hit by an enemy, then it's not so good. Hey, an extra key there. That really helps us out. Are we going to get a key kin as well? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the damage is pretty noticeable here because I'm thinking that we should be able to kill these bullet kin in just two t-shirt cannon shots. It's actually taking three. So we've got our shop here. Uh, don't have anything particularly interesting in our shop. We have a bootleg pistol that costs only 10 casings. But you got to remember that if we take damage or run out of ammo on it, it does disappear forever. So probably not the best idea. Uh, I'll most likely just buy a key. It's unfortunate that we might be missing out on Old War Stealth Kit there. Um, but I doubt we're going to get enough money to buy that and a key. Unless we get a key from our boss. Maybe... Maybe I'll go and do the boss first because we've got higher boss damage. But I don't know. I really don't want to fight the boss with the t-shirt cannon. It really doesn't seem like it'd be a good uh, a good experience for me. I probably would end up losing a flawless, which would be mighty sad. Mighty sad. We'll see. We'll see. What's what's our other chest then? Wow, this is a long cor a long corridor, a little longer than I was expecting actually. Um, I could try and push these into the pits, I guess. Um, I probably should, really, shouldn't I? 
Okay, that, that was just an absolute failure. To the highest degree. There you go. I managed to kill most of them before I even pushed them in. There you go. Three shots and they're done. That's not too bad. Guess I'll have a green chest. So we got good chests this time around. I'm very tempted to not go to the jungle, but at the same time, I probably I probably should. I probably should. Uh, right. So let's have a little look-see. So did, is, was there anything else in here that interested us? Not really. Uh, let's pop a few shots in that. Make sure none of them are mimics because we could be saving ourselves a key here. Sadly not. I think our secret room is in this room here. It looks like it might be. Sadly not. Um, kind of hard to find secret rooms with this thing. Could be here. Oh, it is. Nice one. Hey, and we've saved ourselves having to look around for keys. Oh, nice. Hungry bullets. That is that is conducive to an interesting run. I'm very happy about that. Um, and do you know what? I'm sorry, old war stealth kit. I have to open this green chest. Demon head. I, we needed a gun so bad. Um, we'll buy ourselves another key. No, actually, we won't buy a key yet because we could get one from the boss and then still buy old war stealth kit. I'm going to be smart. Also, we've got three junk. Three junk already. If we get junkin', we're going to be kind of set here. So we've got the trigger twins. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Demon Head's actually pretty dang good. Like, I think Demon Head's one of those guns that I underrate because I always get it late game. But if you get it early game, my god, does it shred boss's health. Look at that. Like, I suppose we do have boss damage up, so one thing that I am unsure about, I keep changing my train of thought here, but one, one thing I am unsure about is if we have damage down but it's boss damage up, do they balance each other out or counteract each other? Oh, okay, we got two keys. Very nice. Okay, so we are able to get the old war stealth kit and have a key left over. So let's buy that up. So if we go take a look at the old war stealth kit, um, a relic of the old war, this stealth kit prototype grants near invincibility, um, invisibility at the press of a button until someone broke it, that is. Still worth keeping around the maybe... If you get hurt, it'll turn back on. Just give it a good whack. So that's, I believe that description is pulled directly from uh, Risk of Rain 2. I can't be 100% sure about that though. Um, but I would assume it is. Considering the sprites are, I would assume so. I, I'm very happy that someone went to the effort of, uh, of porting the actual items over and making their effects translate into Gungeon. That's a, a really, really nice thing to do. Oh my god, I can't. I don't have the movement. Move, I don't have the movement speed. Um, but yes, uh, very, very nice of someone to go ahead and do that. Considering as well, I don't know if they got the idea from um, me, Kyle, and Neighborino, but we, we were all talking about how cool it would be to um, to see a Risk of Rain 2 themed uh, item pack, and someone went ahead and did it. I don't know if that was due to that conversation, or they got their idea of the very own accord. I really don't know. Uh, I'm going to be using Demon Head to room clear throughout the jungle, because I just don't think we have enough damage to do it otherwise. 19% damage down is a big sad. I have to say, though, we're starting with three coolness. If we can get ourselves some active items, which we most likely will be able to, considering how common they are in a uh, modded Gungeon, um, then we might have a good time. Although, this this feels like it's doing absolutely amazingly right now. Like, way better than normal. Maybe I'm just uh, a, a demon head hater, and I've, I've been... Misleading myself. Can I get over there? I think I can. Cool. Uh, give me that ammo. Getting an extra key off the first room is very, very nice. Die, little buffer boy. Still, I'm very, very happy with these rooms. I'm loving them so far. It seems that everyone else has been loving them too. Oh my god. I just walked right into the explosion. Wait. 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 It's not temporary. It's permanent. Old War Stealth Kit is amazing. So basically all we need to do is get hit in any room before we go to our shop. And we're good to go. I like that a lot. Gotta say, I like that a lot. Right, we are in a good position now then. We can get the rat key and all that jazz. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Right, let's keep moving on. But yes, there is going to be, hopefully, coming soon... Maybe. Can't really say too much about it. It's been shut off my Discord a little bit, though. Another new floor coming. Which I'm both very excited and very scared for. <laughs> I'm very excited because a new floor is a new floor. But I'm also a bit 
a bit worried because I have to make another 150 rooms, and it was it was pretty difficult to make these ones in time. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite a quite a task, especially considering there might be two new floors coming. Um, I may have to uh, I may have to join forces with someone else to make some of the rooms. Hope someone else can help me out um, because it's gonna be a lot of rooms, a lot and a lot of rooms. We'll see though. Right, take care of these guys. Yeah, I didn't actually know the chameleons were unused enemies, like, completely. I always thought they were in the RNG department, but apparently they're not. They were just completely unused. So I'm using enemies in this floor that aren't even in the game. At all. It's pretty dope. Yeah, the next floor, though, I'm, I'm really struggling on what to do for the themed enemies. I might have to go with a bit, a bit looser of a theme for the next floor. I really don't know what that'll be. Okay. Demon Head is pretty much out now. We're going to have to revert back to, like, the T-shirt canton or something. Okay, we got both of those. Uh, excuse me, sir. That was a bit rude. All I was doing was sitting there, and you just attack me. Physically assault me. Does this kill in one hit? Okay, it does. Good. Killing these in one hit is, is a dream come true. I was going to say, if it was two hitting these guys, then we'd have a problem. Take care of them. Boom, boom. Nice. We'll see what our first chest is. The fact that we're going to be able to open both our chests here is uh, very nice without having to buy anything. Very nice. And then we can steal if something's too pricey, which I doubt. But we can also buy it if it's too pricey as well because we don't need our money anymore. Because if we want to go down to the rat floor, we can very easily. We can very easily. Oh my god, I've just hurt my toe really bad and I have no idea how. Absolutely no idea how. It just started inexplicably hurting a lot. But onwards. I don't give a damn about that. Bullet. 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 By the way, the um, the lowercase r is going to be pretty good with hungry bullets. I, I presume, because it fires off a lot of shots. Pretty quickly. But it should be pretty decent with it. Are you guys three hit? Let's check. One, two... Three. Yeah, three hit. Okay, there's, they're basically the same HP as Bullockin on this floor. Excuse me, sir. Blam. Hello, chest. What do you hold for me? A brown chest. Wow. We'll, wait. we'll abstain and go to our other chest first. Okay, of course you, you light up the sniper. I can't, I can't believe the arrow can are two hit kills, though. That is sad. Oh, is that three? Are they three hit kills? Wowee. Yeah, you get behind there, dude. I need some ammo, game. If I could have just a little bit of ammo. These are going to be three hit, yep. Yeah, we're all out. We're all out. Nice. Another key. Oh, my God. Let's just open our brown chest. We've got so much to live for right now. Oh, boy. we got Shadow Clone and a key. Shadow Clone is so good. I think it's going to be even better with Hungry Bullets, too. If it adopts Hungry Bullets, I don't know if it will. It seems to be just firing bees, though. <laughs> Which I find kind of funny. B. B. But yeah, Shadow Clone's dope. For those of you that don't know, which I, I imagine all of you by now do, Shadow Clone is dope. We are running out of ammo quickly, though. Which is scary, because we still have a boss to fight. I'm really hoping we get ammo for Demon Head before our boss. Uh, by the way, something I would do want to briefly talk about is, um, of course, we have the ability to get a mass round on this floor, which is kind of a bug, kind of not. It's like, it's a bug that we've just kind of left in for now. Well, I said we. I mean Apache. We've just kind of left in for now because, I don't know, it seems to kind of fit, I suppose. But, I don't know, maybe it'll get changed at some point. We're not sure yet. Um... But yeah, um, actually be kind of, is it, it was it was kind of separate, but also kind of from this. Um, Never Named actually added um, masteries to both the Abbey and the Oubliette. So now you can get mastery rounds from those floors too, which is interesting. Especially the Abbey, considering how difficult a mastery round from that floor would be. It's very rare to get no hit from that boss, even if you're a decent player. Right. Snack. Oh my god, that low damage is so unbelievably noticeable right now. Like, it's taken us like three mags to kill things. Even basic enemies like these. 
Oh, I see now. I know why. Because we have, like, drastically reduced magazine size, and we only have three shots per clip. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Huntsman's pretty nice. I like Huntsman. Right, let's go and fight our boss. I'll use the Huntsman, I think. It's the gull. It's the, the most fitting boss for this floor. Okay, so Huntsman's actually going to be amazing with their Hungry Bullets. Because not only does it destroy bullets, it destroys bullets on Reload too. And we are going to be reloading more often than we normally would be because of um, the lower magazine size. And our Reload is even faster. I don't know if Reload faster is a good thing for this, but still, that's, yeah. Huntsman's going to be a really good gun for us. Oh, cool. We got uh, this, which is new. And we got ourselves a master round. Let's have a check what this does. I think this is heal after killing bosses. Heals a small amount whenever the afflicted individual defeats a boss. A decent item. It is, it is a useful item, even if it's not that good for me. I like the idea a lot. Um, we could get the, the crown, but we need our boss damaged, honestly. Uh, let's get ourselves another key. Honestly, I will buy ammo. Because we can steal. And we don't want to gun munch anything, do we? Yeah, we do. Let's gun munch lowercase r and gun munch the t-shirt cannon. I know it's kind of blasphemy to gun munch weapons that have been helping us out so much. But I just want more interesting guns. We're probably going to get a DT here anyways. Nail gun's fine by me. I like the nail gun. Right, let's look for our secret room real quick. Which is an impossible task on this floor. You just kind of have to blank in different rooms and hope for the best. Uh, won't be in there. Could be here. And then could be here. Sadly, we didn't find it. No worries, no worries. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Right, so nail gun is going to be pretty trash for us while we have this low damage. But... It doesn't have to reload, so the magazine size is unaffected, and it has pretty decent fire rates. It's kind of as fast as you can tap it. I reckon we can make this work. Thank you. We are getting so many keys today. Keys and money are just not an issue at all today. It's great. If we spawn in a shadow clone, though, which seems to have spawned it inside a wall or something. Oh, no. Yeah, he has. He spawned inside a wall. I'm like, where, where is he? And he's just stuck up here. Look. I didn't know that could happen. Maybe that's a... a a bug with the item. Maybe it's something to do with the, the room. I have no idea. Maybe it was just my positioning. Maybe I was just stood in a weird place for the game to recognize. The game just didn't like it. But yeah, with our, with our weaker damage, it's going to be kind of a shit weapon. But as soon as we get some good guns, uh, some good damage ups or the synergy for this, it's going to get a lot better. I mainly like carrying it just for the synergy. The synergy triples its damage, which for a gun that doesn't need to reload is insane. Okay, we'll take the ammo for this, I guess. And let's move on to our boss. We know we're going to be using the Huntsman for the normal boss, so we'll just use this for this guy. Okay, very, very difficult to uh, to cross the, the beams there. Oh, my God. Bad damage. Good. Hey, we got the map, and we got a chest. Map, what do you hold for us? Um, we have a very good secret room with yet more keys in it. Hey, and we got one of my items. Look at look at this. It's protective shell. We get contact immunity and the rolling eye effect. So that's ra rather nice. Contact immunity is always lovely to see. Got you with the bomb. Boop. Didn't expect that, did you, fool? Get him. Nice. But we're just going to open all these chests because we just have so many avenues to get things, especially keys. We got the Mimic Gun. Oh my god. A rare, rare chance to get it, but we got the Mimic Gun. It means we can't really use the ammo because we can't switch weapon while you've got the Mimic Gun out, which is a little bit of a bummer. Oh, hello. I forgot I put one of those in a secret room. <laughs> That's one of my secret rooms there. But yes, we have the, uh, the Mimic Gun, which if you didn't know... Any bullet that, that it passes through gets jammed. So that's nice. But with hungry bullets, we kind of counteract itself, which is interesting. It jams the bullets, but also gets rid of them. 
Also, it has like no magazine size whatsoever. And it just kind of sticks around for an indeterminate amount of time. It's normally not that long. It's normally like until you get to about like 100 or 200 down ammo. Oh my god, the reload on it is so long though. Another chest. So today is just the day of getting lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of items because we're just getting loads of chest drops from our what seemingly would be our coolness. Um, and uh, on top of all that, just so many keys. We are the key god. Okay, this is going to be a nightmare. Thank god for um, hungry bullets then. So I need to make a Pac-Man gun based on the bullets from this thing. That'd be so good. And it should kill it should kill ghosts in one hit. Got you. We still have the Pac-Man gun. There you go, it's gone now. It's gone. You don't get it for long. It's a really rare thing. It's not in the Ammonomicon or anything. It's just a rare random little sort of Easter egg type item. Tiger coming at you. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Too, too bad, boy. Too bad. You got Tiger. Very, very useful for enemies across pits. Because it doesn't... It's not like the, uh, the compressed air tank shark. You can just fire the thing anywhere and it runs across all the gaps. Um... I guess we'll just take it for this for now. We don't really need it for any of those, though. Oh, my God. Our roll. Our roll. It's not great. Right, what you got for us? Regular shotgun. Pretty on board with that. So, let's go into this room over here. This is going to be quite a long walk. In fact, let's 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 be smart. Let's be smart. So, how many enemies is there in here? Two. I don't know if there's two waves though. That's the problem. Hmm. I think there's going to be two waves. I'll, I'll bet on them being two waves. There you go. Did it. Ha ha. So I got hit just as the room ended. Okay, this is going to be a long walk because I forgot to open that. And you can't teleport while you're uh, invisible either. Otherwise, it stops it. Then so we walk all the way back to the shop. Ah, balls. <laughs> I didn't know that rolling got rid of it. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's open that up this time. So, let's use a normal weapon like this. So... Make sure they fire. Wait, come, come back over here. Make sure he fires, then kill him. Oh, fuck! Okay, this is really hard to use. I have learned that now. Hey, we got this. Hey, we got synergy with it too. Arabian Nights. <coughs> let me let me have a look at this. So this is a, a item that spawns a magician, a little wizard dude, um, a little genie. After you uh, get hit, which makes the invincibility invisibility thing we're trying to do impossible, but. <laughs> It's a, it's a willing sacrifice. Okay. Right. Let me go and have a little look what that does. The Arabian Night Synergy. I know for a fact this is part of Retrash's pack. And the Wish Coupon... Is it Wish Coupon? It's not called Wish Coupon anymore. It's called... I don't know. Oh, Wish Charm. Okay. Um, Arabian Nights. If you also have the bait launcher, also drops bait on the ground when damaged. Nice. Nice indeed. Basically, that means that um, we will we will spawn a little genie dude, but also spawn a tiger, which is a really cool synergy. Good idea for that one. Right, we've got like one last chance to do our steely steelies here. We've got HP in here, so we we don't have to worry about getting hit loads. Um, let's take care of the big boy enemies. In fact, we can just do this. Although, we, no, we can't. No, we can't. That, that attacks random enemies. 
right. Genie! <laughs> he was like, now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna chill. But yeah, we, we can't do that with the genie, unfortunately. Which is a shame, it means we can't steal, but we should still be able to afford the rat key at the end of this floor, I think. We've got some ammo over there as well, which we'll just take for um, a bait launcher, I guess. Or demon head. Yeah, we'll take the demon head. Right. Sad times, but we'll go and do our boss now. Um, and again, we're just going to use this, I think. Although bait launcher might be incredibly good with... Um, bait launcher might be incredibly good with shadow clone. So maybe we'll use that instead. It seems... Not going to lie, it seems pretty good. It seems to be spawning... Quite a lot more tigers than I'm uh, than I'm controlling, and I don't know why. Like it seems like the the shadow clone fires a lot more tigers than I'm firing. I really don't know why, but I like it a lot. That's incredible. I don't know what happened there, but that was just just so many keys. <laughs> What's with all the keys, game? <laughs> What's the big idea here? Right, we are two casings off. We are two casings off. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw away all my junk. Pretend we've sold it. Give casing two. Just for the interest of the viewer. It's going to be fun for you guys. Right, how do we get so many keys? What is actually going on? Let's uh, let's use the Huntsman a little bit here, because we know the bait launcher is now kind of our boss damage weapon. I'm super glad that we got a modded item with a modded synergy. And it's not even like it's a, a synergy that's already in the game. It's a completely custom synergy that only synergizes with one item. So pretty lucky we got that. I'm, I'm happy we got one of those. It's the first time we've had one of those, I think. Right. Noise, noise. Oh my god, I love hungry bullets. So good. Especially with shotguns. Especially with shotguns. Hey, it's AK room. I made this. This is this. It feels like why I'm saying that. It feels like what I say pretty much every time Retromation plays like jungle or like any of my rooms. I'm like, I'm like look, Dad, I made this picture. <laughs> I drew you this, Dad. <laughs> I bet that's what Never Name's like when his, when his items come up as well. I mean, anyone in the modding community, to be honest. Look, Dad, I made you this. <laughs> Fucking uh, Never Name sent me a message uh, yesterday that he he basically he, he showed Kyle the mod update. <laughs> Kyle's response was just, "This is a lot of work to please a man who's got his head stuck in a tail in a melon." <laughs> that's definitely a secret room. Yeah, a lot of work to please a man that's got his head stuck in a melon. <laughs> I found that really funny. Flare gun probably not going to be that useful. Also, the fucking keys for sale. Why with all the keys? By the way, this armor is terrible. It's a good item, but it's terrible. Basically, it just gives us three three free hits. It's like having Holy Mantle from Isaac three times, and then that's it. The item's gone. I don't really like it, but on the other hand, I love it. I think it's a it's a bad it's a it's a good example of a bad item. Good example of a bad item. Because I just because I don't like it in game doesn't mean I don't like the idea of it. I think it's a good item to have as a bad item. If you know what I mean. It's weird to say. It does trigger the blank effect. I do. I do believe. But I wouldn't pay forty nine casings for it. No way. Right. Ammo. Lovely. We can basically finish this room and get all of our ammo back at the end. Yeah. Heck off with your shit. You big spider boy. How are you still alive, sir? How? Let's do an extend, shall we? If we if we leave up here and come straight back in. Shoot him. B 
basically box extending. I think I've talked about it before. You can go to every single adjacent room and the rat will not steal whatever you uh, whatever you did that with. So normally do it with ammo. Uh, so now I can go to every single adjacent room, kill them all, come back to that room and get the ammo back. So it basically means I can fully fill the hunt huntsman rather than using a green box to um, fill half the ammo because I already had half in it. God damn, this is so good. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we got one anyways. Do uh, we need that for anything else? We'll take that for that. We'll take that for that. Might as well get the full use of the box extend. Our coolness is helping us here, though. Hey, look, it's my room. Master round. It's all the miners. Right, kill this boy. There's one up there as well. I heard one more guy. Here he is. Ah! No! I've cursed myself. Okay, I need to fix that. I'll fix it though, don't worry. I'll get to it. I'll just, I'll just jot that down. Right, we have a long room here, which is nice. We'll go to him at the end of the floor. If I remember. Which I won't. You know me. But I'll just say I will and annoy everyone in the comments by saying I will and then not doing it. Having a scout is really nice for jammed enemies. Gives you a good idea of how much damage you're really doing. I can tell that I'm not doing much damage because it's taken me more than one full shot to kill a bloody bulletkin. God damn. Hey, a Germany Carbine. I like it. It's a kind of a synergy magnet as well, so we've already found a secret room. Kind of a synergy magnet as well, so I'll take it. Got some really good synergies. Galactic Medal of Valor um, and Ruby Bracelet are two of my favorites. You can get both of those at once. It's actually kind of insane. Also, this should be a very good gun with Hungry Bullets, I would imagine. Yeah, seems to be. Seems to be. We haven't found our rat room yet. I've, I haven't really been looking for it, to be honest. So we might have passed by it. But I don't think we found it yet. Normally, even when I'm not looking for it, I do spot it out. That's a jammed boy. Oh, we can't take contact damage, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Lol. You can't hurt me. Get him. Nice. And we got one more chest to find, I think. Yeah, one more chest to find. And hopefully our rat room. I hope I haven't missed it, because that would be very sad. Not this room. It can be in chest rooms now, though. Um, if you have never named pack on. Which we don't at the minute. I think I'm still waiting for him to update it. He said he was going to, so I'm holding off. I'd rather show it in its true form. Right, got you. Shadow clone, help me. Nice. Yeah, we've got a few more rooms to go, so we could... A hey, Vorpal bullets with decent coolness. I don't know if it's affected by coolness, but it should be. Um... That's actually a really good idea for an item. Having all the different, um, like, effects in the game. So, like, oh, there you go. Anything that does, like, a random effect, having it trigger, um, high, like, more often based on coolness. So, like, hot lead, things like that, um, chance bullets, all those sort of things. If Because a lot of them don't already do this. Some of them do, but not, not a lot. But have them, have them actually trigger more often based on how high your coolness is. That'd be a really good item. This was a bad idea. And of course I triggered that too. So we've got another enemy to fight now. <laughs> We're almost out of ammo here. And another key. What the heck is this? Another key. My god. 
We did not find our rat room, which is bad. Shot burr. Thanks, dude. Right, let's take a little cursory glance at all the rooms we've been in. See if we can't find it quickly. Definitely wasn't in this one here because I was particularly checking for it in these ones. So let's go this way now. I'm a little upset. I'm always a little upset when I don't pay attention enough to find the rat room. Because it's super easy to see normally. I'm just doing a little bit of a walkabout to see if I can uh, pick up the tracks. Won't be in this room. This room's too weird of a shape, I think. Normally, it really favours rooms with a lot of open space. So, like this. In fact, this is like a prime room for it. Yeah, this is it. Cool. Let's hop down. Go along the track. Use both our blanks. And let's go fight our boss. I think, honestly, the, the tactic we used last time was insane. She's in this bad boy. Yeah, I don't know what caused it, but it seemed to fire off a lot more tigers than it was meant to. Oh, I don't have any blanks. I was like, blank, blank, blank. Why isn't it blanking? Oh, yeah. I just used them all a second ago. The sound is quite beautiful. Definitely some strange things going on with uh, Shadow Clone. Not gonna lie, but I'm happy about it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Baby Good Hammer, I see you there, you little shitbag. Yeah, that's that spawned four tigers. Banana Jam Hammers is nice. And my hammer. Nice. We have Baby Good Hammer now as well. What up, dude? So we'll use Baby Good Hammer mainly and switch over to Shadow Clone for mainly the bosses. Right. Let's go down. We shouldn't have any problems here against the Rao all, I wouldn't think. Apparently, Apache told me as well, Baby Good Hammer actually disables all of the regular Forge Hammers in a room, if there is any, so you don't get confused between yours and the enemies. So that's a really nice little quality of life thing there. Like, good of him to even, like, think of that as an idea. Honestly, the Apache's just a mad lad. He's like... I was speaking to him the other day, and he's like, I said, oh, what, what's uh, what's kind of coming up for the jungle now? He's like, ah, oh, nah, I'm just going to take a break. I was like, well deserved. You've been working hard. And then, like, two days later, he's like, I've been a new floor, by the way. Get ready. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> kind of break you taking, boy. Yeah, I've got a full ammo, so I'm okay to use this. The good thing is, because the hammer lasts for the entire room, I can kind of just switch to one and switch to the other. Right, right. I mean, I can't take I can't take uh, thingy damage. So let's just roll over the, all these boys. Up, up. Okay, they don't like that. Another... Was that another key? Oh, no, it's just a gun that fired from banana gem hands. It Vorpal bulleted him. Get ready for all these boys. Left, left. It missed. I 
And the last left. This should have been right, I think. Yeah, it's okay. So we'll take half armor for that because that'll fill it up. We'll take full armor for this bad boy. Shadow clone at the ready. Let's do it. Got to remember we're throwing banana jam hands every time we use this as well, which is nice. And it just charges itself so quickly, uh, the Shadow Clone, because of how many tigers there really is. There's another one. There you go. My god. Considering we have quite a big damage down, 11%, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going well. Right, we should be able to get a hammer back in use as well. The coolness is really helping us out too. Let's just check that out. Yeah, maybe good hammer. I love the fact that it's just a one use per rune sort of thing and it just lasts for the entire room. Makes it so much more usable for me. At the moment, I'm just spamming R1, which is my active item button, just to keep using Shadow Clone because it's, it's active so often. At least I can call myself Prince of Arabia now for this episode. That's going to be the title. Oh my god, why did, I, why did I not remember that that's how that attack worked? It did spawn a, a genie though, which is nice. Now oh, that's a lot of tigers. Oh wait, what's that TV show called? Tiger King or something? I can't remember. That everyone's been raving about recently. Is it Tiger King? I cannot remember at all. I've not been keeping up with that at all. No, thank you, sir. I have some tigers. They're on the house. Get punched, boy. The Colt? Wow. What a great gun to get. Why did I do that? I just completely balked that up there. Got through that. We've got junklets, which annoys me that I dropped all my junk now because that would have been 15% damage up. You live and you learn. Ice bullets. Very nice. Damn it, I can never do this. I can never do the cheese wheel. Right. I can never counter that either. I just choose not to. The whip. Got him. D-pad. A little bit of D-pad me. What you got for me, boy? <laughs> that was just stupid. Oh my god, there's like a spider on me or something. I kept seeing something in the corner of my eye moving. And it was like proper distracting me. I'm not sure what the fuck it was. I don't know if it's a bit of fluff or a spider. Either way, it's gone now. And it wasted me some HP. And some possible stars. Fuck! I'm really bad at countering that. Stop doing your cheese wheel, you bitch. Ah, you fucker. Oh my god, stop, dude. He really needs a limit on how many times he can eat the cheese. And that as well, that's really annoying too. Fuck, look at that hell. He did that attack so many times and I cannot counter it. That bloody spider pissed me off. I don't know what it, I don't know what it was. It looked like a spider in the corner of my eye. Whatever, it's gone now. So, sadly, apart from Junklets, nothing really that good. And we don't even have any junk anymore, do we? I think I gave it all to the, uh... Yeah, I don't, we don't even have it anymore. Still, though, I'm liking this run. Sadly, not much there, though. A lot of HP. More keys. Give me some Tigers. In my boots. My wee little booties. We only got two keys. We only got two keys. What the hell? Terrible. I did bad today. Oh my god. I'm, I'm paranoid there's a spider on me now. I literally don't care about spiders whatsoever. They don't really scare me at all. It's just annoying.
Right, what are we going to use now? D-pad seems like a good idea. You got wrecked, fool. By the way, a lot of people ask me, Turtle, how do you do the um, how do you do the big the big fireball with the D-pad? What's the what's the combination? I have no idea. I just press the button and it happens sometimes. Someone was like, "You're so good at firing off the fireball. How do you do it so consistently?" I, fuck if I know. No idea. I just spam buttons and hope it works. I really don't want to spawn my chest in this little mess here, so I'm going to switch guns. Luckily, we take no contact damage, though, apart from when we do. Um, so we'll be fine. Maze room is definitely a bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll deal with it. Do you reckon if I got, got a shadow clone out, I get two, I get two chests? Is that someone ever, anyone's ever tested? Okay, it's very good for Vorpal bullets, Shadow Clone. Very good. Right. Let's get down to like a very low amount of ammo. Nine. Six. Okay. Let's pop Shadow Clone. Damn it. No double chest. We did get a black chest though with what seems to be Father and Son. We got Casey. What the fuck? So it's... What? It seems to be just... I know this is a retromation based item. What the fuck is that sprite? What the fuck is that meant to be? I could not tell at all. Best Dad, I think it says. Oh, it's Retromation holding a thing that says Best Dad. I see it. Um, The bond between... And this... What? The bond between and this father and his son is so strong, it removes the, ta uh, the time needed to reload after an attack and breaks the limits of boss fights. Wait. Does this remove DPS cap? The fuck is this? This is going to be insane. Look at me go! Running around at the speed of sound. Do 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 <laughs> This is ridiculous. Especially with banana jam hands. And Vorpal bullets. Right, where to now? It actually increased their movement speed by quite a lot, just spamming it. This seems so busted. So unbelievably busted. I got hurt by poison because I couldn't move. Keep going, keep, keep going. Although, I'm not going to do this into a chest room because... Uh, Retromation recently did something similar and just completely busted a rainbow chest. It's quite funny. I shouldn't do it all the way into new rooms. What? More keys? How you doing? Wait a minute. Where's the key gone? Right. Wait, what? Oh, it's there. Rolling around at the speed of sand. <laughs> We need flight and then we can just do this everywhere. Oh, chance bullets. We got that with a synergy as well. Ah. Imagine if this had the ability to trigger chance bullets. Ow. Oopsie. Now that's a problem. Send back, Ethan. Ice bullets is making this really good too. Thank you for the HP. Ammo is not necessary. What do I look like? A mere mortal? This item is just ridiculous. Like, I like it, but it's also like, it, it shouldn't exist. <laughs> this is just too much.
The fact that it has infinite ammo too, obviously, because it's Casey. You just do this forever. It just breaks an entire run. It is fun though. I have to say it is fun. What up, super great boy? Don't think you can attack me. Hungry bullets will kill your bullets. What you got for us? Trash cannon. That's not good enough. Yeah, that's that's a bit it's a bit insane that isn't it? A little bit insane. <laughs> Zorgan, I guess, thank you, but no. Rolling around <laughs> This is just ridiculous. Uh. Charge multiplier one thousand. Does that is that apply for every gun? It doesn't get rid of the charge time on some guns. It gets rid of the charge time on that. That's nice. I'm looking for what guns would be really, really good with uh, RNG bullets. But I don't think we have that many. I think we're just going to keep using our crazy bat. <laughs> I can't believe how much damage did to that boss then. Break CPS cap is just stupid. Just keep going. <laughs> this is just bonkers crazy. Give me that. Oh my god, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do it. What up, Bick? Give me a synergy. What you got from anything cool? This is the nail gun synergy I was talking about. Not that we're ever gonna use it again, but thank you. Come back to me, Casey. Come back to me. You can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I really shouldn't be doing this. Ow! We hit by the spikes so much then. Right, bullet can just get wrecked. Especially if they get actually hit by Casey, which they rarely do, but when they do, oh, it hurt. Sadly, we are going to have to lose some dodge roll power here, which is a shame because this room requires it. All of our dodge roll power is gone. Oh my god. I kind of wish I hadn't spent all my money then. We're up to 0.89 damage. Wait, does this not actually affect your damage? It affects... Okay, it's one of those ones that affects your bullets damage, but not your damage stat. Okay, like cares bullets. There was pretty much no way of dodging that. Surprisingly, we've not actually lost that much HP. I'll take rocket-powered bullets, because why not? Surprisingly, we've not even completed that many rooms this floor. Oh my god. I did not see the jammed guy there, and it just, like, ran right into me. You need to be careful, I'm losing a lot of HP here. Oh my god, got hit again. Right, just... 
Just keep going. It's okay. It's okay. As long as we never need to dodge roll, which, of course, immediately gets set on fire and have to dodge roll. We're going to build up a lot of damage. And we're going to get a lot of m damage from our money as well. Oh, hello. Sorry, I don't need you. I have the power. I will offer some HP for some curse and damage. 7.5 curse. Heck yeah, bud. Heck yeah, bud. Totally gonna get me killed, this. Uh, excuse me, room? I know it's my room, but how the fuck did I get hit then? Wait, is there a mage in here? What is a mage doing in here? No, maybe not. Okay. Sounded like there was. Oh, maybe it was our, uh, our little genie. Damn it, another enemy we have to dodge. Stop doing this to me, game. I need my freedom. Hexagon. It would be good if we didn't have this craziness. Right. I doubt we'll be able to flawless this dude, but we'll try. Also, maybe good hammer wrecks this dude. Somewhat, somewhat chronic, although he is jammed. So this could be bad. Okay, this is just not fun. Not fun. Stop doing the attacks that I can't really do anything about. Stop doing these attacks, dude. The attacks I I am forced to lose damage against. Okay, he's dead. Sadly, gonna lose some damage here. Unless carve a path. Carve a path. I did it. Nice. Oh, for God's sake, I'm getting set on fire, you doofus. I must not have any damage buff anymore because I'm not getting the, the debuff noise. Right, away we go. Away we go. There you go. I am uh, quite impressed with this run. It's quite good. My toe still hurts, though. That is something to be sad about. Oh, my God. Why? It's so bad. I think Hungry Bullets is making this, like, ludicrous. Like, normally we'd have to worry so much about random things hurting us while we zip around every room. But Hungry Bullets is just making it so we don't have to worry at all. Like that. Like, we did lose some damage there, though. Where you at? There's a, there's a dude following me. Got him. Got him. I'm on my way down. Well, this room was easy, I think. Yep. Some armor. I can't believe we've got two of those rooms in a row. These rooms are really rare. Got him. Bit more HP, thanks. Just run at him. Run at him with no fear. Okay, I have a bit of fear. 
Have a moderate amount of fear when you run at them. Away we go! Carry me! To victory! I'm sorry, red boy. Not rent boy, red boy. Get your bullets out of my face. Another one of these rooms. Wow. We're going to have to be cool, calm, and collected to get this done. That's crazy. We've got three of these rooms in a row. These rooms are, like I said, pretty damn rare. Where you at, dudes? The, th the thing is, as well, they're, they're really unbalanced if you get tons of them in a row because they give you tons of rewards because they're so big. Do you know where the rest of them is? I, do you know something I really, really wish was a thing in the game? The arrow that points to where the last enemy is should give a should be like trigger a way further distance. Like where the hell is he? How are you over there? I was just here. Yeah, that arrow should trigger a way longer distance in my opinion. That'd be super useful for them big rooms. Yeah, don't fire at me, dude. You haven't got the, the, the muster to fire at this boy. I'm a living god. A living god. Let's keep going. Okay, we're going to have to do some dodge rollies to get over that. So I'm just going to not bother because I want to keep my damage up. Another one? No way. This one doesn't have rewards, though. This one's just a, tr just a, just a really trolley room. But that's crazy. We've got this many of them on one floor. Maybe I might need to make the ones that are bullet hell exclusive rarer. Because there's less rooms. Yeah, dude, don't think you can step to me. You keep thinking you can, but you be you be wrong, fella. You be wrong. Let's go. I can't believe that. That's like so many in a row. So many large rooms. You definitely need to turn them down for bullet hell. Yeah, stop it. Stop it, little spider. You want to stop it? There you go. You managed. Get in the gap. Oh, you didn't even get in the gap. That's just sad. I hope you guys aren't annoyed by the sound that I'm very, very annoyed by right now. But at the same time, unlimited power. I can't stop. Unlimited power. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Hey, it's one hand room. Another one? What the hell? These definitely aren't correct. This, these should not be showing up as much as they're showing up here. That's so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. I should not be getting six of them. It should be like three maximum, maybe even less. Ow. Yes, you hit me, sir. Well done. You get a prize. Death. Throw the guns at him. You will taste my death. You will taste it, and you will like it, fool. Haha. <laughs> Keep going. Nothing can stop me now. Ah, apart from fire, which lowers my damage drastically. Ah, fire. Oh my god, I lost so much damage to that then. What up, boss? How are you doing on this fine day?
Called my hammer in. Get him on the KS2. What up, dude? You think you can step to me? No, no, no. Look how many guns are on the floor. <laughs> oh, this is bizarre. I'm, I'm surprised the game's holding up so damn well. <laughs> I did get hit there. And again. Don't worry about it though. No, not the fire. Where are you where are you creating fire from? Oh, it's a hammer. A hammer's creating fire. The hammer betrayed me. I see. Maybe don't use the hammer for this last phase then. Nothing can stop me. I'm a living god. Nothing can stop me. Ta-da! <laughs> well, that was a run. Somehow I'm at full health as well. I don't know how, considering I got hit so much. Did I have armor? I don't think I did. Well, that was a run and a half. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm much happier with this run than I was with the previous, so. <laughs> Glad I re-recorded. My god. My god. 800 kills exactly. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. It was a pretty bizarre one. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next one.